Oi big bits. So there's another little story about this. I ordered this Zara hot this Zara stuff a week and a bit ago. It was on bank holiday weekend, I ordered it on the Sunday and it literally arrived like two days ago. It got lost somewhere, I was tracking it for literally like a week and then the tracking just disappeared, there was no like sign of it, they couldn't track it on Zara <laughs> so I was freaking out because there's like £300 worth of stuff in here that I was like, really? But it arrived, thank goodness. Trying to hide my address. <sighs> so I have a Zara haul for you all. I'm like, I'm such a friggin' scatterbrain. The first item I'm going to start with is this bodysuit. I also got them in two other colours because I saw Rosie Hunterton Whiteley in them. I'll insert a picture. She looks incredible and I was like, they're going to be super expensive. Clicked on it because she actually tags her pictures, which is, she's an angel sent from heaven. And it said Zara and I was like, okay. Literally typed in bodysuits on Zara, ordered all three of them and have zero regrets because they're the most flattering bodysuits I think I own. Sorry about my fake tan hands. I don't know what's gone on, but because I used drops with moisturiser, I think it just really stuck to my hands. Um, yeah, they're like this slinky material. It also has like an under layer, so where your boobies are. It has like another sec like second layer. I mean, it's not gonna stop like nippage, but it's obviously not as like thin. It's really thick. Really nice, really flattering shape, really nice around the shoulders and the back. I'm going to find the other ones in the box. So I got it in, this one's a medium because they sold out of the small so I got a medium. But I don't think it matters, really. Probably the smalls are just going to be a tiny bit tighter but I don't mind either way. So I've got this lovely beige colour. No, it's... If I would, like was untanned, this probably probably would look weird. But I got it in this tan colour, again in the small. They're 12 99 and genuinely these will last you through the whole... Like, I'll keep even wearing these next summer because genuinely I have so many Zara bodysuits. I just don't ever want to throw away because they do really good cuts and you can never find them again and then they sell out and they never bring them back, which is actually ridiculous, Zara, is what you saw found. So yeah, I got it in the beige the black and then I got a classic white again in the small the, the only medium size was the black but I'm really excited to wear these she wore these with like really oversized white like balloon pants and she's just a queen isn't she really just a queen I didn't realize the bottom was going to be different fabric to the top but it's this like satin um, it's like, it's like a swimsuit kind of shape, but it's like a low back. I've been looking for something like this for ages because I like to kind of get my back out sometimes if I'm quite covered up and then I take off my coat. I still want to have like a bit of skin, like having your arms out or something. So yeah, it's like slinky up top and then it's it literally does just feel like a bodysuit. Um, they're all poppers at the bottom, which is the best when it comes to bodysuits all poppers because you can just and go for a wee and not have to like get naked. Um, I got that in a small and that was also $12.99. Buzzing, can't wait for this. Next item is this cropped lilac jumper. It's super cute, I'm obsessed with lilac at the moment. If you don't already know or don't already follow me. This is quite expensive for a jump, for a cropped hoodie. It was the 29.99. I got it in a large. I saw this on my Insta bestie Sophia, and I was like, "Put it in my basket right now." Thank you. Um, yeah, I don't just I don't know. I like it, but I don't think it's worth thirty pounds. I'll try it on and see. 
favourite thing at this time of the year, transitioning from summer to autumn, is trench coats. I have like browns, beiges, that all that sort of stuff and I've been obsessed with this green colour. It's my favourite colour when I when it comes to autumn winter. It's blowing out my video, isn't it? Sorry. Um Josephine has the most incredible like light green coloured one and I want it really badly but it's vintage so I'm gonna have to rummage a lot. The only thing is this is 89.99 and it's actually really thin. I went into, I didn't, I just ordered it straight offline, straight off online. I went into the store yesterday and I was like, mm, it is actually really thin, but I guess it's great for layering. Um, I got a size small. People were saying they're massive, but I, d I think small might actually be too small for me right now. Um, but I'll try it on and we shall see. I got a pair of trousers, these are just beige, um, classic tailored sort of pants, got a bit of a stretchy waist, I got them in a small and they were £25.99, oh they go up to XXL and they have an extra small, I'm feeling like small might have been the wrong size but I thought with the bodysuits these could be like create a really nice silhouette so I won't know until I try them on really will I but super cute ba everything is pretty basic like basics that I'd pick up naturally in autumn winter just because bodysuits are good for layering hoodies are just good for keeping warm trenches are really good also for just layering you can put like a t-shirt on a jumper on and then a trench over the top and you don't look like hulk and look massive and bulky like it just looks cute and a trench just like falls nicely and trousers you just can't go wrong because you need your legs to be covered especially in the UK Ooh, these might be my favorite thing so I saw that bodysuit and I was like mm, yes those textures living and I was like could I get away with doing the bodysuit and these Bermuda shorts they're kind of like the boxing style um, shorts with these like ruching. They literally look like Max's um, football shorts, but I just liked the way they looked and they gave me very um, Bottega vibes. You know, those like long um, leather shorts that they have that are ridiculously expensive, but I still crave and want every day of my life. Um, just like a silky version of those, like they fit really nicely really cute I'm excited I'm gonna put those with the bodysuit like texture and then with the trench coat over top it's a vibe the last two items are pretty much the same thing just in different shapes and I'm sure everyone's seen the Bottega quilted shoes and I'm freaking obsessed with them Every time I see Lorna looks in them, I'm like, can you not? Can you not? So this is my version of Bottega. <laughs> it's this cute little white quilted, I don't know if you can see it that well, clutch bag. I just thought it was super cute. I really enjoy these sort of things. I don't know how, like, I mean, it's friggin' massive. They, oh it's £20, 19.99, which I think is a really good price for a bag to be fair. I just don't know how annoying it would be to carry it like round all day. I suppose it depends if you just literally have like your phone, purse and like seven lipsticks if you're anything like me and hand sanitizer in it then it would be fine and not really that com like uncomfortable. I mean it's cute, it looks like a cloud and I'm living for it so she's staying. Also have been eyeing this bag up for ages and then I saw it on quite a few people and I was like actually I really need that, it's very me. It's literally just the actual like bag handle version of the clutch. Is it the same shade? Yeah it is the same shade. I'm just friggin obsessed. Like, this is Bottega on a budget, and I'm living for it. It 
also has a strap. I was wondering what the hell was inside it. Is it going to tell me what you want? No. I think this one was 29 I think this was 30 which is a bit crazy seeing as this was 20 and this is 30 could be 35 but I'm not sure I think it was a good price but I just think it's really cute and send back the clutch I don't know let me know down below which one you'd keep the bag or the clutch don't say both because then I literally will keep both and I've already said it so I'm probably going to keep both aren't I but that is everything from my Zara haul I hope you enjoyed let me know down below if like what your favourite thing was I need to stay off Zara because they are absolutely killing it at the moment I made another bag and I think it was like £800 and I was like I can't do that that's literally like my rent and my bills <laughs> and like my monthly food shop like it's a joke but let me know what you'd like to see next or what shop you'd like to see next I think I'm going to do a little weekday haul because I have picked up a few really nice bits and bobs and I can do a back to school sort of uni vibe video but thank you so much Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. See you later.